So we've come to Bishop Auckland, actually Shildon. This is the um, Shildon Works, which used to be responsible for locomotive coaches, that kind of thing. It's actually part of the uh, National Network of Museums and specifically the National Railway Museum, but it is a really curious thing in that it's hidden away in the corner here of the Northeast. I mean, the Northeast is the birthplace of railways when you think about Stockton and Darlington, but having such a thing hiding away here is just awesome. So we've come here to have a look around. So locomotion number one wasn't the first steam engine that Stevenson built. He'd actually been building steam engines for something like 10 years prior to that, and he'd built, oh, uh, loads of them for collieries. This one actually was built around, the, they think, the 1820s for a colliery here up in the northeast. And uh, it's now in the museum and it is an awesome beast. Let's have a better look around it. So this is a 15-inch gauge model of locomotion number one, uh, and it's uh, actually a very beautiful model, obviously. So steam engines, Stirling engines, are a class of external combustion engine, and obviously differ from the internal combustion engine that we're used to. And their early development, they were really quite inefficient. And one of the main areas of inefficiency was to do with the boiler, really, and the pressure of the steam or the pressure of the hot air. Boiler development actually was uh, one of the key components to the success of the steam engine. What we're looking at here is a combined boiler because you can't just, well, you can, but it's not very efficient to write, uh, light a, a fire under a pot of water and boil it like in the early Newcomen engines. What they started to do very quickly was um, pass tubes through the water and either have the fire or the exhaust gases or the hot gases from the fire pass through those tubes or surround tubes with the fire so the water flowed through the tubes. One was called a fire tube boiler and the other was a water tube boiler. What you're looking at here actually is a combination of fire tube and water tube which made a very efficient boiler. So I absolutely love steam museums. I mean what's not to love about a steam museum? This one is full of peculiar oddities. We've already seen an early Stevenson engine. Here's a fantastic thing, which is basically a snowplow, which you bolted onto the front of the engine. So looking at bolt-ons onto engines, we've talked about the snowplow. Here's another little bolt-on from British Railways. It's called the Wickham Trolley. It's actually meant for, um, rail, uh, for track repair. And you stick it on the front of the engine and drive slowly and repair your tracks. So we had a look at something pre-Locomotion 1, we've had a look at a model of Locomotion 1. This is an early replica of Stevenson's Locomotion number 1. Now obviously we're actually in the North East, so we're going to have a lot of this stuff on the ground. So this is part of the Royal Train exhibition that they've got. It's uh, Queen Alexandria's Royal Train, I think. And we're just looking into the main cabin of the, the engine now. So this is the Blackfire 5000, and it's funny to think the entire train and engine is in fact driven by that. They're the pistons themselves. I mean, they're, they're substantial, hey? But when you look at the train and the actual engine, compare the size of the piston to the thing that it's running, it never ceases to amaze me that the power can be put in such a small space. Okay, so when we look at the more developed steam engines, yeah, sure, they're very impressive machines. But these earlier engines really display the core of what the machinery is about in a straightforward and simple way. So it's something to really love. But again, here are the pistons, and compared to the size of the machine, there are two of these, one either side, but compared to the power, size of the machine, the power of those things to develop to do all of that work is truly astounding. I love this almost Heath Robinson design of these early engines. And here is an unlooked after undecorated Sans Pariel 1829. And again you can see the simplicity of the design for just the basic of what the machine actually does.
that is a beautiful engine. I had to take the time to show you this. This is a Buda Velocipede. They were actually uh, designed to take railway workers along the tracks quickly to where they wanted to be. But have a look at the mechanism of drive. It's that handle that you pull backwards and forwards there. Isn't that very cool? So hopefully you enjoyed the video. It does go to show I do get out of the lab sometimes. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.